Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and check out all of our other videos. Today we will be applying Deep Red on Allie's hair. She has done chemical dyes and she has done chemical dyes that are like the really bad kind ones. And she's uh, she had highlights, green highlights on her streak. So she did use pure henna on her hair and it came out great. It was lighter than the rest of her hair, but she just did needed to do another application. And you will see in this video her hair before and after. So Ali has done previously jet black henna. So it's a two step process where she used the pure henna first and then the indigo powder. And then she went back to redo her hair again to jet black and she used pure henna. When she used pure henna, I mean, it's beautiful. I love the color, how it came out and she likes it too. Uh, but she just wanted to try deep red and see how that goes. Now for any of the reds, do keep in mind that like any other red, they will tend to bleed. Now on the henna side, it will bleed less. And, but this is, you know, one of the permanent hair dyes that is out there. If you're new to henna, or if you don't know much about henna, or even if you have dyed it, henna has been used from centuries. It has been used from hair dyes, to coloring clothes, to using it as natural property healings back in the day. It has also been used as cooling property agents. Now, if you don't know, henna cannot lift the, your natural color of your hair. So if you have dark color hair, it will not lighten your hair. So oh, I had a lot of questions asking like, can I bleach my hair and didn't use henna? Well, we don't recommend bleaching your hair because again, that bleaching part is not good for your hair. So unfortunately, just with henna, you can go from light to dark. You just can't. You just won't be able to go from dark to light. That's how it just works with henna. However, I personally, I have dark color hair and I use burgundy henna. What I do is I use lemon juice. I don't even use water to mix the burgundy and then applying. So what lemon does, it helps naturally lighten your dark color hair. And that's the only natural method. It's not gonna be extreme, so it's not gonna be like you have dark color hair and you're gonna go red, boom. No, it's, you'll see the red tones in like the sunlight or wherever the light hits. Now, I personally love it because I wanted to stay away from chemicals from the beginning and I started to get gray hair. So the red on my gray hair, I just love it. It's amazing. And the rest that it shows on my hair, it looks so beautiful. Even my daughter is like, I want to do burgundy. And her hair is dark too, so. And it does show on her hair, on her sunlight. It was just amazing, beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and apply deep red on Allie's hair. Now, I took deep red home and I made a video how you can do it at home with simple ingredients, just mixing it. All you need is water. But to enhance it, keep on watching and you'll see the things that I do add into the deep red. So we did keep it overnight for eight to 10 hours and it's all ready to go and we are going to apply it. So henna is really easy to mix and I just wanna show you that all you really need is of course the color and then the, you can use a wooden spoon but a plastic spoon would work perfectly just need water and a glass bowl or a plastic bowl ideal to use or even a wooden bowl to mix now because we are going to do Ellie's hair her hair is a little bit darker so I'm gonna be adding a little bit um, of tea and lemon juice and rosemary in the instructions, you will see that we recommend using black root coffee, but I only recommend that only if you are wanting to get darker colored hair. So because Ellie's hair is already dark and she wants to use the deep red and she wants to get the red tones out, so we're gonna be using hibiscus uh, tea in here. So the hibiscus tea will help to give like 
um, lighten the hair a little bit as well as bring out the red tones for your color. So if you use coffee, again, it's going to darken the hair color tone. So we do not want to do that. So we're going to let that uh, boil and then we're going to let it set for cool. While it is doing that, we're going to open up the deep bread and start um, pouring it into the glass bowl. So we're going to be using 100 grams of deep red for Ali's hair. Always make sure to read the instructions on the back because it will clearly tell you how much you need for the length of your hair. There is a video that we did and I will link it down below that will tell you exactly how much you need for the length of your hair. Right, so this is a zipper bag. So it does come in two packs and three packs. So depending on the length of your hair and the thickness of your hair as well. You might need two packs or even three packs. So the zipper part is really good if you have like shorter hair and you want to store this. So it's great. I love the packaging. It comes with 100 grams. This is the powder. Shower cap. And then gloves. Now if you're a regular user for henna, I always recommend getting reusable gloves. Again, as I stated before, make sure you read all the details and the instructions because you don't want to leave anything. There are a lot of helpful hints, especially adding a few drops of essential oils that will make the henna scent less potent and extra benefits. So I am going to be using rosemary. So it will tone down if you have that, you know, oh, henna smells like earthy, you want to use an essential oil. So it could be lavender, rosemary, uh, peppermint. I mean, you can look up any of these oils and it has amazing benefits for your hair. Don't use lemon, any citrus oils that you do not want to use at all. Okay, since her hair is about mid back, we are going to use all of the package. Make sure to open your henna inside the bowl because it doesn't go all the way down and you want to have everything flying. So go ahead, pour all of the powder in the bowl. So our hibiscus tea is done. I poured it in this glass bowl and I'm going to let it cool it down because it's too hot. You want to pour in warm but you don't want it too hot because then henna will lose its color potency. And we do not want that. So we will let this sit and we'll just come back and just start mixing. Okay, so the tea has cooled down a little bit. It's still warm and I am going to begin mixing. I you gradually, slowly want to add in choice of your liquid again you don't need to add the tea or coffee you can simply mix it with water and don't just add you know a whole chunk of water but just add little by little because you don't know how quickly this will become liquid itself kind of if you're not too careful because you don't want it running you don't want it too thick as well. We want to make it into like a yogurt consistency or batter like. So we are going to keep mixing it until we get the desired paste we want. If you have a whisk, use that. It will make your paste much smoother than the um, spoon itself. So with the whisk, it helps a lot. So you can see right there, the smoothness starting to come. So if you have a whisk, it will definitely help. If you have the um, the whisk blender, that will actually be a double plus. Save yourself some time. Okay, so you can see. The paste is ready. Now I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice. Again, that is to help 
with if you have darker color hair and you want to bring out the red tones uh, I always recommend a lemon wash to remove henna if you want if you you know feel like it's too dark so we always recommend a lemon wash with that so the lemon juice will definitely help bring out that red tones I use I actually with burgundy I just mix my whole mixture with lemon juice because I have really really dark color hair and the burgundy will never show on my hair if I don't do though if I don't use the lemon juice on the burgundy on my dark color hair because you can't not go dark to light you can go from light to dark you just cannot go dark to light just not possible with henna because it doesn't have chemicals so we're gonna add a few drops of rosemary now and again it's up to you don't use too much if you have never used rosemary before or any essential oil of that matter so make sure that either you do a little bit of patch test or just use a little bit on your first try so you know for sure that it is something that you know so I'm gonna add in and a few drops of the rosemary it helps with helps promote with hair growth and helps with dandruff and it has so many other benefits for your hair so not just for the smell just so many benefits for your hair if you decide not to use henna or you don't want to color your hair you can always use it in hair masks and I have other videos that I will link down below for hair growth of using rosemary and two more hair oils castor oil and amla oil to your routine to get the maximum benefits for your hair health you will notice your hair thicker shinier so much healthy so much so so much healthier okay and we mix that all so you can see it's not too thin and it's not too thick so this will harden a bit overnight and in the morning we will add a little bit we're gonna have to add a little bit more water to this to help loosen the more thickness that it gets so I'm going to clean up the sides and then we're going to put a saran wrap on this. We want to cover it. Okay, so I got the saran wrap here. We want to make sure that we cover it. I like to do it both ways. Either you can do it this way or you can really push in the saran wrap. That way no moisture or air goes into it, giving it much better color potency results because we need to let it sit for eight to ten hours so we're gonna let it sit overnight and when we go to office tomorrow we will do Ali's hair so as you can see wrapped it on the round okay so you can see the dye already it's on my finger I don't mind having it on my fingers, but wear gloves, it's already there, so I'm going to get color there as well. Okay, so we are going to leave this overnight, and I'll show you tomorrow. So we are going to do Allie's hair. She wanted to do deep red. She was going to do jet black again, but she decided in the middle of her jet black application, she wanted to do deep red. So used chemical dyes in the past. And then when she started here, she decided she wanted to try out Jet Black. So Jet Black is a two-step process, which we did. So we used the pure henna first and then the indica powder. So now she wanted to do a second application and she did pure henna at home. And afterwards, she decided she wanted to go deep red. Now, I will link the video down below, her original Jet Black application that she did with before and after, you can check that out. Uh, we, in that video, we did not color Ali's hair. She had green hair, like towards the front parts, and we actually covered it because she wanted to keep it. So when she did it at home, she used pure henna. So we will show you closer up, zoomed in, of how the color came out. And it's just amazing how it covered it up. So it's lighter 
lighter and golden now versus the green that she had and with the deep red it will cover that up too yeah i'm super super excited so how many times have you done pure henna um three three times now? three times right I'm just amazed, like every time, I just feel like when we did it first time, the pure henna, and you were like, you wanted it to black, I was like, it looks so beautiful I with know. the pure henna. I know, like every time I've done the pure henna, I'm like, I, I could go red. I could go red and it would look good. And then I did it the last time and I decided, you know, we're not going to do black anymore. We're going to go red. We change it up. I mean, you can always go back. Black. Yeah. So keep in mind. Uh, once you do go towards darker colors, you can't go lighter. So Allie does understand that, that because she had done black, jet black, that it's not gonna come out as too deep red, but her color is a little bit darker. And so I did add lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I added lemon juice and hibiscus tea to it because we wanted to bring out the more of the red mm -hmm. versus if we wanted to do, if you wanted to go like darker, but since your hair is darker, mm -hmm. like if your hair was like blonde or light brown, then I would be mixing it with the coffee. coffee, yes, or regular water. So, but because your hair is dark, mm -hmm. we wanted to use that. Now I use burgundy at home mm -hmm. and I love the color. Now my hair is black. Mm -hmm. So I can't like it doesn't show up. It gives but the undertones. It gives the other tones, like especially in the sunlight. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I mean wherever the light hits, and especially on my grace. But I only mix it with lemon juice. Okay. So it brings out that more redness out mm -hmm. of it. So that's why I added some lemon to it. Not in the full I added like two teaspoons mm -hmm. lemon juice and then I mixed it only with hibiscus tea. Okay. Okay. Bring out those red tones. Yep. All right, so I'm excited to see the results. Super excited. All right, let's start coloring her hair. So we mix this, put a saran wrap, left it overnight. And now we're going to take that out so you can see right there that it is on the thicker side. So we're just going to add a little bit of water to it. So see that? You can see that it is thick. I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Even though I used hibiscus, Tea, that is fine. You can use water just to help loosen it up because you just need a little bit, not much. So you can see how smooth the paste is and exactly the consistency we need. So for those of you who are new to henna, I always recommend that you place something protective. So we always, always, even though we barely drop any, but because especially white, the carpet is white, we place a tablecloth on the floor uh, as well as paper towel, like right where I would put all the tools and the henna where it's gonna be placed so you would avoid such mess. Now in your bathroom sink, you can put like towels on the floor, you can put newspaper all around your bathroom sink and keep it safe and covered and don't forget to use old t-shirts while you're dyeing your hair. So I was gonna put on a hair dyeing cake. We'll link that down below. We have a hair dye kit. The cake comes with it. An old towel will just do the job as well as if you don't want to use a towel or a cake, just by all means use an old t-shirt. And if you're fine with that, have it all over, just use that.
So this is day two. Yesterday we did the application. You went home, mm -hmm. you washed your hair. It looks beautiful. It really, I just love it. I love, I love how it. it came out. And like we talked about yesterday, mm -hmm. that where your hair was light, it was gonna show more, mm -hmm. but it's still beautiful. And it blends down yeah. so nicely yes. without that harsh like, contrast. No, you can't see that line actually. Mm -hmm. You actually can't see that line. I mean, it's really light mm -hmm. on the top, but other than that, no. It looks like it naturally. I love how it came out on your streaks. Yeah, See that? Beautiful. Yesterday was like yellowish, mm -hmm. but today is just beautiful. It's red. It blended in. It blended yeah, in it looks really now. nice. Yeah, I love it. it. Doesn't stick out at all. So when you wash your hair, make sure you wash it with cool to cold water. If not, you can take the cold or cool water rinse it out with warm water but towards the end just flop your hair um, and just quickly just take that cool cold water in your hair it helps lock color in the color tone as well as having lesser bleed so whenever you do your next wash make sure you just wash it with cold water mm -hmm. and if you do feel like you know the color bleeding you can do a vinegar rinse so one part water with one part vinegar it came out really beautiful. I know, I love it, I love it. I really it's like so it. soft. Every I know. You put the head it on, gets softer. So softer and softer. And I can see the difference. It's fuller too. Your yes. hair is fuller. It has transformed when since I, I started working. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, I, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, I know. I can uh, Afterwards, I was like, I, I kept petting my hair. It's so nice. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. Check out the pictures. Um, check out the other videos again like I have mentioned the jet black that she did and the pure henna check those videos out and then you can see that you can actually she went from jet black to like this color mm -hmm. so beautiful and, and it was easy it, too yeah wasn't yeah. a difficult process at all mm -hmm. I didn't wait too long be between the jet black so application we either. applied it on at two o'clock mm -hmm. what time did you around seven so it's about five hours. Yeah. Turned out really nice. If you left it on for three hours, it would have been a little bit darker, not this intense. So yeah. It's good you left it on for that yeah, long. I yeah, I wanted it to be as intense as possible since I did do the jet black before. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, love it. I love it. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video as much as enjoying to see this result. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, and let us know if you want to see any other video. Thank you. Bye.